Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be having a go at making beef wellington which I'm not looking forward to as you can see I've got some fresh mushrooms freshly bought this morning and the problem is they've gone in I put them straight into the fridge which has made him a go bit of a funny colour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these all these mushrooms up until, it, until they look like breadcrumbs. That's what it said on the video anyway. So I'm going to keep cutting them up. That's all, all you'll be seeing is me just cutting them up. I'm frightened to death of cutting my hand. So all I'm going to do is just cut them up and I'll show you once I've cut them all up. As you can see they are cut up like breadcrumbs, can't cut them anymore. I know you're going to say oh there's a lot more mushrooms there. But yes I will be cutting some more up um, and putting them in the pan. Right as you can see I've got the mushrooms cooking on a low heat, yes it is on. Can you see the heat, can you see the ring? Well, you can't, but it's because it's on low heat. And it says to add a bit of garlic. Now, a lot of you have said, Ah, oh, you don't get brown garlic. You do if you've got lazy garlic. Now, that to me it looks brown. Grey, no, not grey, brown. So it said to add a teaspoon of that. So that's. Add too much teaspoon of garlic. Well, actually, it says very. Oh, can't see it. It says very lazy, and it shows a picture of a garlic and chopped up, uh, chopped, and it says chopped. So I'm going to mix this round on a low heat. I have put some oil in it, so hopefully. Some of these aren't chopped up properly, but they are. And you can probably see in the rest of the camera shot. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. The beef. Now, if you're wondering why it looks like that, thinking, well, hold on, that looks like it's been cooked, cooked, cut, cooked. Yes, it has been cooked because I don't like my stuff on my plate going moo or whatever I don't like my food saying are you alright so I have cooked it in oil and in some seasoning it's salt well if you want to know what the seasoning I just use salt and pepper which oh which I need to put in that as well uh, so yes I'm going to put some salt and pepper in it I will be using this small dish I seem to buy a new dish every week and make something but yes I will be making a small one in this small dish it looks big on camera but believe me it's only small but yes I will be putting it in there when the mushrooms have come together right as you can see I've got my bowl and I've got my 8 ounces of flour Two ounces of lard and two ounces of marge and a pinch of salt. So I am going to rub this into breadcrumbs because it does say to add three tablespoons of water. But I think that's going to need a lot more than that. But we'll try it with three tablespoons of water first let's get this so getting this done I've been told to use both hands but when one of your hands is hurting you want to use one of them luckily they're both hurting today so I can use them both so 
nearly there. Uh, I don't know if I told you, eight ounce of flour, two ounce of lard, two ounce of mar uh, marge, two ounce of butter. Yes, I only use uh, I only use marge on bread now. I use butter for cooking. Bloody expensive it is and all to buy, man. Everything's expensive to buy. So that's nearly done. In fact, it is done. I would say. Might be a few more lumps in it. Just get them out. Can you? You can see, can't you? Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. I know a lot of you. If you keep kicking that camera key, I will take it off you. And I know a lot of you will have noticed. I've got a different apron on. You can't even see what it says. It says Greyhound friends for life so if you're wondering what it's on <laughs> here you can't even see it but yeah well I can't see it. my eyes are shocking so yes so if you will have noticed I've not got that horrible gawky one on I gave it away I've got my water I'm not gonna add it all in because I don't want it all to... That's another bit. Oh dear. I don't think this is going far, is it? Can you see? Yeah, you can see, can't you? It's not... It's not to put the last bit in. Last teaspoon in. Uh, teaspoon. Last tablespoon in. And mix it round. Oh dear. It's not coming together, is it? Like I said, I know it needed a lot more than three tablespoons. So I'm going to get some more. I'm going to fill it up again. A little dish for water. And uh, put that in bit by bit. Here you can see. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit too much, wasn't it? So this will come together. I'm adding some more water. A bit more, please. Thank you. Now I know I'm going to have to get my hands in there, but first I want my. Uh, Flower uh, surface flowered. As you can see, I've got it out to the dish, bowl, whatever you want to call it. Hold on a minute. Come on, get working. Come on, get on that pastry and get moving. That's it. Oh dear. I need to think I need a bit more flour. Right, as long as I don't pat it too hard with that hand, it should be fine. <clears throat> so, oh, I'm going to use this with, its hand, with the handles. Don't want it too thin, and I don't want it too thick. So, oops, falling apart there. So, should have put. I think I should have put a bit more. Ingredients in. Don't do that. If you wonder what's catching on, it's me phone in my pocket. Whoa! Need a bit more flour. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take my phone out of my pocket. Is it going to end up broken? Put it in that. Oh, there. That's it. Right. Can you see what I'm doing? I mean, I'm just 
rolling it out because I am going to cut the joint because uh, the video I watched the man he cut his joint so I'm going to cut mine now as you can see I've got the pastry done and I'm going to put the no 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 oh it's still running pink oh I don't want pink meat first you put the mushrooms in the middle the man who I watched do this he had he used to bind his he used whiskey and I don't well I don't drink now so will that be enough because I need some for the top so ah, I suppose I'm gonna have to put this pink oh I don't like pink meat I like my meat done I don't like it mooing at me or making noises get off me get off and put that on there there we are come on Shut up a minute. Right, there we are. Where's my brush? Oh. I think it might be a bit big that, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do what he did put the egg. Excuse me, can I turn that on? Put that on there. Put the egg round the outside. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge with this one because I think the joint's a bit too small. But it doesn't really matter. The biggest piece of beef I could get. There we are, a beef Wellington. A uh, bit of egg on it to make it cook. And it does say to put it in for 15 minutes. But the thing is, my meat's still pink and I don't like pink meat. So... What I'm going to do is put it in a little longer. I don't know. He says 15 to 20 minutes. I think my might want to go in 25, 30 minutes. Put a little hole in it. And these were a lot thicker than, a lot bigger than mine. Let me put little patterns on his. Right, anyway, so that's going in the oven. Like I said, he said 20 to 25 minutes. He didn't. He said 15 to 20 minutes. Mine, I will check it on 20 minutes, but I'm not going to enjoy the meat because I don't like pink meat. I've said it before. I hate pink meat. It's got to be cooked or a bit cremated. That is the end product. Here is the taste test. And here's the taste test then. Perfect, really dry. Is it? Mm. And I made it with butter and lard. You can't have the taste of meat. Can't you? Yeah. Mm. Too much pasty, I guess. It is, yeah. Um, the meat, bit of meat I can tell. Nice and tender. Or was it tender, thank goodness mm. for that? Well, yeah, the pastry is just too strong and probably need a bit more meat because you could hardly taste the meat. Let me just get a bit of meat out. Mmm. Nice and tender though. Normally dry beef. Mm. Actually, generally enough, it's not actually that dry. Mm, very good. 
pretty good. Thumbs up. Right, as Lee said, the pastry was dry and I can't understand it because last time I made it with butter, it was nice. I liked it. Uh, so, if you, if you, so there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please feel free. And if you want to leave me a comment or a recipe, please feel free, the mother merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, and whoever hasn't subscribed, get subscribing. Thank you. Bye.